It's been a few months since I've owned my new Lamborghini Urus. Now I'm gonna do a little review on the car and what I think of it so far. On today's vlog, we are also PPFing the whole car. And to PPF a Lamborghini Urus is probably one of the hardest cars to do. Why? Well, look at the bumpers. They are very intricate, a lot of grills, very unique design as well. So if you ask any person that does PPF or vinyl wrap, they'll dread doing a Lamborghini Urus. But we're gonna attempt that on my car today. And also, I did say when I bought the car that I will be designing a subtle body kit and some new alloy wheels. Well, the body kit is gonna take a bit of time, as you know, in our previous body kits that we've designed for Bad Exai, it does take a long time to design prototype, manufacture the body kit. Obviously the procedure is quite long, but uh, we're working on the body kit, very subtle, but the wheels are ready. So we have our 23 inch forged Taurus alloy wheels ready and we will be putting them on the car to showcase our new Lamborghini Urus wheels. But today we're wrapping it all. And just before we start that, I will give you a little review on what I think of the car so far. Well, let's go around the car. Obviously I went for the Grigio High T Grey. A lot of people did say to me, why did I choose this color? Because a lot of people do think that a Lamborghini should be a very vibrant and bright color, like a bright orange or maybe yellow or green. But that wasn't the color that I'd prefer. This was a personal choice to me. Obviously when I bought this car, uh, I did order it two years prior to when I got it. And uh, I did spec it up to exactly what I wanted. And as you guys know, this is one of my favorite colors. And when I do customize cars for customers, I always recommend this color. So I'd be a little bit of a hypocrite if I ended up getting another color when I recommend this color. What did I pay for this color? Well, can you guess? I'll give you maybe a minute or so to guess what I paid extra to choose this color. It was quite extortionate actually, but comment below guys, let me know what you think. I paid to get this car painted in this specific color. And I will tell you later on. Right, okay, so the spec on the car, it was fully specced. A lot of people did ask me why I didn't go for the Performante. Right, okay, well the answer to that is when, actually before the Eurus Escort launched, I left a deposit. You had to leave a 25,000 pound non-refundable deposit with Lamborghini to order the car. And I did that before they actually launched the car. And when the car was launched, obviously my name was on the list. And then soon after, a few months later, Lamborghini launched the Performante. So it was quite difficult for me to change my order to the Eurus S to the Performante. But I did go for the full spec. It's almost identical to the Performante. It has got the carbon fiber bonnet. It's not exposed though. Uh, it doesn't have, uh, other than that, what's different between a Performante and an S? Well, all the grills, and the, uh, the trims on the front bumper are carbon fiber. These are gloss black. It's got different wheels and suspension. The Performante does not have air suspension. It's a little bit more stiff. And uh, this has the air suspension, which personally, I think I went for the right choice because the Performante, after when it did get launched, I did drive my friend's car and it was really stiff on the road. And this is a daily car for me. So personally, I'd have no regrets. And I'm happy with this car. It's fully specced up. Like I said to you, it's got everything in there, every optional extra you can actually think of on this Urus, and uh, apart from obviously the carbon fiber parts and the Performante wheels. But anyway, I'm very happy with it. So what is it like to drive? Well, it's a beautiful car to drive. Uh, for a daily car, especially. I mean, I did have the Hurricane uh, for a few weeks as well. And uh, compared to this, I mean, that was not a daily car, not very comfortable to drive as well. It looks nice, it was a bright orange Lamborghini that I had. But this compared to that, this is a beautiful daily drive, very comfortable, family friendly as well. Plenty of space in the boot. As you can see, it's got nice space in the boot. Uh, quite big as well, actually. And uh, like I said, the features in the car are brilliant. Car looks phenomenal. For a daily drive, I don't know. I mean, I've got my Defender 110 that I drive on a daily basis. To drive this on a daily basis, I don't think it's very convenient for me in Bradford. I mean, all I do is go to work. Now, the, then when I finish work, I go to the gym. 
and obviously occasionally see my family and friends. So, I don't know, I think it's more of a weekend car for me. That's when I take it out on the weekend. And on a daily, I like the Defender 110. And I am an ambassador for Defenders, obviously with our Barak Zai Falcon body kit as well. They do look brilliant. But yeah, the car in general is nice. Interior is very comfortable. All the options inside, nice. All the, I've not even taken the stickers off. As you come over here, I've hardly driven it. I've done like 450 miles on the car. It's still got all the stickers on the sill. Also on the screens. It's like a fighter jet, beautiful. I'm glad I bought this. And uh, I'm glad I didn't get the Rolls-Royce Cullinan when I initially ordered, but obviously we had an issue with ordering a Rolls-Royce Cullinan. They wanted to keep the logbooks, like I told you in the story, on my vlog. But I'm happy. I think it suits me as well. I think it's more me. Colour is perfect. Brilliant. My personal choice. Well, let me tell you what I paid for this colour. I paid £15,000 just to get this car painted in this colour. And if I did it, it would have been a fraction of the price. And a lot of people are saying to me, why didn't you buy this car basic and just paint it a colour of your own choice and do everything as you do that for a living? Well, the reason for that is because I'm so busy in the workshop doing customers' cars and I wouldn't have time to do my own car. And I always give my customers priority. I did buy a couple of cars before in the past and we've been so busy that my cars were left on the back burner and they were just sat there being used as a toolbox. But not really but anyway it took a lot longer than expected because we were giving customers priority so i wanted to buy a car it was my brand new it was my first brand new car that i bought and i thought i just want to drive it out from the showroom and the options were like i said to you they were very expensive just to paint these bonnet vents was like 400 pounds just to paint these to paint all the grills at the front and the back bumper all the gloss black around the car that cost four thousand pound plus that which is extortionate, I know. The colour, like I said to you, £15,000 for this colour, but no regrets. All the interior as well, you had all the black pack in there as well. Everything, like I said to you, there are a lot of things I could, if I did this myself, I probably would have saved myself about £30,000, but you got to put price on time as well. And obviously I did, you know, uh, because like I said to you, we were very, very busy in the workshop. I didn't want to strip this car down and just leave it there. So I just wanted to, buy it, get the keys and drive away. And that's exactly what I did. Well, that's what we work for, right? And uh, no regrets whatsoever. I'm happy with it. And uh, I have actually got a new number plate going on this car as well. So stay tuned during the vlog. Let's waste no time. Let's get the car PPF. It's gonna be a few days procedure. So we will be showing you obviously all the details that we'll be doing on this car to PPF it. And also I'll be showing you the alloy wheels. Really excited for that. But anyway, let's get the car PPF'd. The Lamborghini Urus is finally fully PPF'd. 
The whole paint has been protected with our new PPF film that we supply. And I will talk about that a little bit later on. As you can see, the technician has done an immaculate job on the car. Flawless finish. Now, if you go into detail, you can see, well, you can't really see because you can't even tell it's got a wrap on it or some form of personal protective film on there. We've done the whole car. Obviously, I have to protect the paint on this car. Why? Because I've paid a fortune for this color. I'd like I told you before, I paid 15,000 pound just for the color option. Now that is my personal choice. Some people might like it, some people might not like it, but that's my own personal choice. But I have to protect it. One from stone chips. Secondly, just in case, if I ever scratch it or just have a little light scrape anywhere or somebody obviously tries scratching my car, it's gonna be protected. Bit of a peace of mind. But normally people, what they do is tend to PPF the front end of the car for stone chips, which is a great idea. But we've done the whole car. Now what I mean by the whole car, we've even done the headlights, we've done the all the paint, obviously all the car, where you can see the Grigio high tee, the gray color, that's all been PPF'd. All the gloss black trims. Now this is one of the hardest bumpers to PPF. It's got 150 pieces just in the front bumper. Individual PPF pieces that you have to mount onto the front bumper on its own. Bonnet vents, these little side vents, the wheel arches, lower door moldings, door handles, doors, the trims around the doors, the pillars, the door mirrors, the roof. Now I was gonna actually do the sunroof as well, but I changed my mind. I thought, no, I'll leave that because it does affect the clarity a little bit when you put it onto the glass itself. But the clarity on the paintwork is phenomenal. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be quite honest with you. It is actually give a better finish than the actual paint job itself. Now, when I picked this car up from Lamborghini, I did notice a slight orange peel on the paintwork. And I'm thinking in my mind, I paid so much money and it's got a slight orange peel on there. I thought it'd be a little bit more flawless, nice glass finish. But a lot of cars from different manufacturers do come with that form of finish. Obviously, they've been painted robotically and uh, obviously they're probably denibbed and buffed up and they're just given to the customer. But obviously when we paint a car, we like to flatten it like a glass finish and give it a flawless finish. And this wrap has helped do that. Now, if you look at it, I don't know if you can appreciate this on the video, but it's actually got more of a smoother, flawless finish, less orange peel. It kind of hides all the orange peel and it looks brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Clarity is like almost, I'd say 150% compared to the actual 100% of the actual genuine paint job. Okay, the rear spoiler's been done, top spoiler's been done, the rear tailgate, rear bumper, again, a very, very difficult bumper to PPF, but as you can see, it's all done in individual pieces, all the fins will be done as well, so all that's been protected. And also, we've done these little vents on the rear bumper. The whole car is all done properly, and we've also done the interior. Now you probably think, what? Have you PPF'd in the interior? Well, we've not done the side sills over here and I've not done the screen because it's actually got the original film on there that's come from the factory. You're probably thinking, why is he not taking that off? Well, I don't know. I think I'm just leaving it on as long as I can until it wears off because I just feel like every time I get into it, I just appreciate it. I've got a brand new car. So I don't know. I just can't get my mind around taking the original film off there, but it will be coming off because I am PPFing the sills and the screen as well. For now, what we've done, we've PPF'd all the gloss black trims. So all the dashboard trim, that's gloss black, and all the buttons, the small buttons, the center console, all the gloss black bits in there, they've all been PPF'd. Now, only thing that we need to do, the sill lights and the screens as well, which will be getting PPF'd. Yeah, so all the interior is done and the exterior. Well, if you do want your car PPF'ing, please do give us a call. We have all the templates for more supercars, and super SUVs as well. So uh, we will use our new PPF film. As you can see, it's done on my personal car and it's a flawless finish. And when you do come to drop your car off, you can check out the quality of this because you probably won't appreciate it on video, but it is absolutely brilliant. I've seen some other PPF that's been used on other cars and it's not as clear as this. And, uh, and just a quick test before I reveal the new alloy wheel for my Lamborghini, I'm gonna show you, if you follow me, I've got a little sample over here. This is just a quick sample. This is not something how you'd normally do it. So if I'm just gonna put this, lay this down on the wing, obviously you do need water, but I will stick it on quickly. 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you how durable this PPF is. So I've got a wire brush here, and I'm gonna scratch the panel. As you can see, if you look at it carefully, you see all them scratches in the PPF caused by the wire brush. Now I'm gonna use a heat gun, and I'm gonna apply some heat, and you'll gradually see these scratches disappear. As you can see, all the scratches have disappeared. Now this is a very durable PPF that we supply now. So uh, it comes in uh, seven millimeters or eight millimeter thickness. And this is the one that I've applied on my Lamborghini. And it's a very strong, durable PPF. Very easy to apply, good contact, self-healing PPF. So to get rid of the scratches, you can use hot water, you can use a heat gun, or you can even leave it out in the sun to self-heal. And uh, brilliant PPF, like I said to you, it's available. So if you do have a car that needs PPF in, please do contact us. Anyway, let's crack on with the Lambo. We are gonna be putting a private number plate on this car as well. I'm gonna be changing the number plate, which I'll show you in a little while. So now let's get on to the wheel, the most anticipated part of this vlog. I've been waiting for this, it's been a while now. Obviously when I bought the car, I did say to you guys that I will be designing some alloy wheels for this car and a very subtle body kit. But the body kit is gonna take a little while. We have got other body kits that will be coming out soon. We've got the new Range Rover Sport body kit coming out and then hopefully after that the Cullinan and then the Lamborghini Urus and then I'll probably retire. Well, let's see, who knows. Anyway, the new Baragzai alloy wheel for the Lamborghini Urus. Let me welcome you to the Taurus 23 inch concave alloy wheel by Baragzai. So this is our new Baragzai Taurus alloy wheel for the Lamborghini Urus. Now it's only specifically designed for the Lamborghini Urus because the rear wheels are wider and deeper compared to the front ones. And uh, this is in forged aluminium. Now this design, I was inspired by the Shuriken alloy wheel of ours. I love that alloy wheel so much that I thought it would suit a Lamborghini, but I couldn't use that because I wanted it a little bespoke and unique and different compared to that. It's got a similar design pattern of the new Lamborghini. As you can see, the Y shape that goes in the wheel, it's uh, inspiration from Lamborghini, of course, from their new pattern, but it's a little bit different. We've not made it exactly the same, but it gives it that kind of Lamborghini feel. Very sharp lines. If you look at the car as well, from the edges, the front bumper, the back, the way the spoiler is, it gives it the same kind of design pattern in the wheel as the body. So now we will be putting these alloy wheels on the car as well. As you look at this from the side view, it is very concaved and uh, it gives it that depth. The original wheels are quite deep as well. And the white pattern, obviously, we were thinking of doing them in a matte black, but I left them in a polished face. So obviously you can showcase the design of that pattern. Like I said, it does, uh, have a similar design language on the car as well with the sharp edges. We're going for a gloss black finish because I've got gloss black trims on the car. But we can change that colour of any colour of your choice. You can have a satin grey, you can have a gold, you can have a satin black. Any colour of your choice. We can have it fully obviously coloured as well. If you want the polished face painted in black or any other colour, we can also do that as well. Again, as you can see, the pattern in the centre it's like a, a more of a vented, same like the Lamborghini, if you look at the front bumper, with the large vents, we've kind of incorporated that design into the wheel as well. The fine lines, the detailing, uh, etc. we have taken that design language from the car itself. But hopefully, it looks good on the car, and this is the first time I'm actually gonna be seeing it on my car as well, and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, it does look good. But personally, I think it will. And uh, you've got the Badex Eye branding in there as well etched in, as you can see, it's a Baragzai. I'd like to know your views once it's on the car, you can see it for yourself, and uh, let me know if it needs any changes or if you like the wheel. But they are available now as well, but anyway, let's waste no time. Let's get this wheel on to my Lamborghini. So 
here you have it guys, the brand new Taurus 23 inch alloy wheels by Baragzai for the Lamborghini Urus S and the Perfum Monte. Voila. <laughs> This is actually the first time I'm actually seeing the alloy wheel on the Lamborghini Urus. And my personal thoughts are, they look fantastic. They look absolutely beautiful. Designed to fit the Lamborghini Urus. Now, as you can see, the design pattern has been incorporated by using the Lamborghini Urus body shape. As you can see from the side view, you'll probably appreciate it a lot more. You can see all the points on the edge of the car the rear bumper, the bumper corners, the front bumper, the pointy nose. As you can see, the swage lines, the way they're designed on the car, we've incorporated all of that into the alloy wheel. Now, you'd have to really look in detail to appreciate that. As you can see, the Y design in the spoke. Now, that is the new, well, very similar symbol of the new Lamborghini logo that they incorporate in the seats and in the lights and uh, some of the other patterns in the car and we've incorporated that design very similar in the alloy wheel it's pointed and it's got three fins uh the polished face and then also we've got the intakes like i call these intakes because they're like the front bumper the very large intakes in the front bumper and it gives that form of indication of the lamborghini Urus. they do come in 23 inch and these are 23 inch and they're also available in 24 inch as well the forged aluminium lightweight you can have these of any color of your choice and they are ready to supply so you can order them but there you have it guys so stage one of the lamborghini urus design package this is the alloy wheel and the second version will be the light subtle body kit now you're probably thinking what will we do for the body kit well i'm thinking probably adding a front splitter onto the front bumper maybe some side little fins underneath the door moldings rear bumper spats top roof spoiler nothing major maybe some wider arches uh, not too wide though just very very slightly wider and uh, just making it look a little bit more aggressive to this i mean like i said to you it is absolutely beautiful stunning car i like it i've driven it around uh, for a while now well not much but I've, what i've driven of it it's been a beautiful car and uh, like i said to you it's summertime now so i'll probably enjoy it a little bit more and i've also got a brand new number plate on the euros as you can see got the Eurus SV number plate. Thanks to my friend Harry from Rapid Plates in Bradford. I get all my number plates off him and he's done these 4D number plates in a satin black finish. And he has many, many options of number plates for you guys. And he can deliver for you guys and post them out for you the same day. And do mention Encarns because you might get a little special discount as well. So don't forget to check out Rapid Plates. So this number plate does read Eurus SV. It is for sale as well. We have many other number plates for sale. So if you're interested in a private registration plate, including this one here, if you've got a Eurus, please do contact me. Uh, and like I said to you, don't forget, the alloy wheels are in stock. So let's go around the car and show you obviously all the PPF. You probably appreciate a little bit more now in the beautiful sunlight. Nice weather as well. Good to have great weather in the UK. Like I've always said, when you have hot weather in the UK, it's probably the best country in the world to live in. But we don't really get much of that. But when we do, obviously, we like to get the toys out, enjoy ourselves, and rightly so, because we have a lot of dull and dark days here in the UK. But that doesn't really affect our personalities and our happiness. You should always stay happy and joyful because God has blessed us with another day, of course. And like I said to you, back to the car, all fully completed, PPF, immaculate finish, flawless finish. As you can see, the clarity of this PPF is outstanding. So if you do have a car that wants PPF in, please do contact us and we'll book you in. And uh, yeah, car's nice, colors protected, wheels are on as well. I'm happy with the wheels. As you can see from the side profile, the back wheels are concaved and drives beautiful as well no issues whatsoever so there you have it guys the new lamborghini alloy wheel taurus by baragzai 23 inch rear wheels are wider available in 23 inch and 24 inch so if you do want a set of alloy wheels please do call us they are on order of course you have to order them in and then we will get them ready for you guys but thank you for watching stay tuned hopefully if i do anything else with my lamborghini i will keep you guys informed but make sure you subscribe comment and like and uh, obviously we'll try to produce as much content as possible for you as you know i am very busy running my businesses as well and i try my best to keep you guys entertained it's very difficult because i'm not a full-time vlogger or a content creator i just try to do as much as i can while i'm working and obviously while i do the work i try to showcase what i do we have many other body kits as well as you guys know for the range rover models defenders 
G-Wagons, now the Eurises and the Cullinans as well. So please do contact us or check out our websites for further information. But thank you for watching. Stay safe, drive carefully, enjoy the summer, and I'll see you on the next vlog.